an 18-month-old toddler in Lawrence, Massachusetts, was seconds away from tragedy on Sunday night. But two men were in the right place at the right time. Some commotion. Robert Lemire was across the street from this apartment home when he noticed a couple of young children throwing toys from a third floor window. He just ordered a pizza when he heard a baby cry. He looked up. Dangling from the window, roughly 40 feet above the ground, was a baby girl. Two other children were holding her hands, barely. The 45-year-old father of two bolted across the busy street, was nearly hit by a car, and ran into the house looking for help. 23-year-old Alex Day was attending a Bible study inside. Together, they ran outside. The baby fell just as the two men reached the scene. Alex caught her head. Robert caught her feet, and with the baby safely on the ground, they called 911. Joining us now for an exclusive interview, we have the heroes, Robert Lemire and Alex Day, along with parents Randall and Rachel Clark, and of course, little Kalia. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning Kalia. Let's start with you, Randall. You were home with, you have four kids, right? Yes. All four kids. How did Kalia wind up dangling from the window? Well, I was uh, tending to my two-month-old. Um, I just gave him a bath. You know, he's only two months old. I was trying to, you know, settle him down because, you know, he wanted to eat and, and everything. And my other kids were running around and playing. And, you know, she came to me real quick and she left. And then I heard a commotion real quick. And for some reason, my kids would, got a window open. They were throwing toys out the window. I don't see her when I go in the room. And I'm looking down and I'm thinking, you know, oh, my God, my daughter's on the ground. But then I look down and she's not there. <laughs> What do you see instead? I see people down there. I see toys down there. I see a lot of people down there. But then I see him telling me that my daughter's on her way upstairs. And that's when I was, couldn't believe what I had, was hearing. I, I figured that my daughter was on the ground. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, Kalia. So, Robert, you were where when you first saw Kalia? I was actually across the street um, on my cell phone on the sidewalk. I was uh, talking to a friend of mine about <coughs> softball. We were um, at tryouts all day at softball and back and forth. I was just pacing across and, just, like you said, I saw a couple toys. Yeah, play with this. <laughs> I closed it, don't worry. I saw a couple toys go out the window. I didn't think anything of it. I didn't see anybody. Another, another toy a couple minutes later. And then probably three or four or five minutes later, I hear a baby cry, which is I yeah. saw her hanging out the window and I just snapped. I just hung up and ran across the street. You run across the street where you run into Alex, right? What were you doing, Alex? I was uh, on the first floor of this same house, <clears throat> and he ran into the house, and he was just screaming for help. How was the baby managing? This, does, this girl doesn't have the strength to, to hang from a window. How was she managing to, to Well, hold when I had come out of the room where I was, I saw Robert, and I asked him what was going on, because I thought there was a fire originally, and he said that there was a baby dangling, so I ran to the side of the house, and I saw her hanging from her two siblings, <laughs> and uh, one had one arm, and the other had the other arm. So Robert and I just ran right underneath her, and n no less than one second, two seconds later, the two just siblings had just let go, oh, and we goodness. were just there in the nick of time. So the three-year-old and the four-year-old were holding on to their little sister, and when they could hold on no more, you guys happened to be yep, there. Yeah, we were just there at the right time. You knew seconds. they were down there? Did you see them catch her? No, I didn't. I, I just, it was like split seconds. Like, as soon as I came in the room, like he said, it was like a matter of three, four, five minutes, you know, that I was going back and forth into rooms. As soon as I came back in, you know, I see my two hanging out the window and I didn't see her. So it was like probably that second. That when, second when that they it was happening. Her. And then right like two seconds later, he comes upstairs and he's holding my daughter. And I'm. Wow. And what do you say to him? I just like I just told him, I like I owe you my life. Yeah. That's I mean, like I said, there's no more else you can say. I just like, I say because I mean. If she would have, I would have lost my life if she would have lost her life because I wouldn't be able to, to live with a situation like How that. How did you catch her? It's very quick. Um, I saw a little diagram a second ago on the screen, but it was pretty much, I, I remember her arms being out, Alex pretty much getting underneath her, and I was pretty much at, between her legs and her diaper, and we just tried not to miss. So completely was, a team However we had ended up catching her, it was how it was. It was tough. Yep. And Rachel, what do you have to say <coughs> when you get home and you hear this story? Um, I was just in shock when I saw her. It was such a relief to know that she was still here and healthy and alive and in one piece, thanks to these two gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, and that's her saying thank you as well. So Robert, <laughs> Alex, appreciate you being here. Randall, Rachel, Kalia, thank you as well.